March is National Nutrition Month. And I'm actually going to do a tofu. My recipe this week is, with, you know, we're celebrating international um, countries and doing different foods. But this, this recipe is from China. All right, so I have, I'm going to make you a tofu chow mein. All right, so I've got my um, skillet on. I used a wok before, but I'm just going to use the skillet because I actually like the way this cooks. All right, I'm going to put a tiny bit of sesame oil in there. Now, I pre-cooked the mushrooms because just for time's sake. And also the pasta. I used whole wheat pasta, okay, complex carb. And after you cook this, you um, put teaspoon of toasted sesame and let it sit for a little bit all right so I already did that the tofu I love to air fry my tofu I think it tastes good air fried if you don't have an air fryer you can definitely do it in a pan you can do it in a dry pan and make like a little crunch you know like so it gets like a little bit crispy I add a little bit of soy sauce and some garlic powder I'm going to put this in the air fryer just because as I mentioned I like it in the air fryer all right, so I'm going to put that on my day. If you do have the air fryer, I cooked it like nine to 12 minutes and on 400. Okay, so I'm going to push that to the side for now. And tofu. I wrap my tofu, clean rag, dishcloth, whatever, and then I put it on a baking pan and then put something very, very heavy on top for like about 45 minutes get all the excess water out and start with my stir fry. So as I mentioned, the mushrooms are already done. I would usually start with the mushrooms, but I already did them. So I'm going to just do a little bit of the carrot. Use a carrot here. A little bit of red pepper. And because my mushrooms are already done, we can actually chuck them in any time we want. You know, nuts is great for bone health as well. It like has magnesium in it. You can use cashew nuts, um, pistachios. I use pistachios. I have them over there on the finished recipe. So I'm going to chuck these in. The mushroom and then this is going to go back in so this has a really great taste already it's going to stop right there so i don't want that over so that will come in together there all these nice veggies and of course, your tofu will go on the top when you're done. And you're just going to add a little bit of soy sauce to it. And that is it. So I'm simple. I'm going to put that in a bowl. And you can add sesame seeds if you want. Your tofu will go right on the top. Get some of that good stuff in there, some of the peppers. Very simple recipe, but very, very flavorful. I'm going to knock it off with huge. And then also, when the tofu is done, you can just put that on. All right, now let me show you the finish. We'll finish it here. Okay, and we have the water of the week it's lime and fresh basil. 